All right, you guys want to come into the place with this case, like on your wrist? You're like, hey, what's up? I got my little pie case. It's so cool. Look at that. Or do you want to roll up with this thing on? Think of it as the Rolex of the pie world. Look at that thing. You roll up with this. This is your BMW right here. Look at this thing. Dang, designed to fit. Hey, what's up YouTube? Today we're going to change out from our old hat case. We are running a little hat case. It's a little cheap case. Similar to like the Canic case. And uh, we had those little heat sink chips that everyone's like, well, do they really help? You know, well, they come with the kit. Might as well put them on. Well, those were on this one. We pulled them off. So what I have in this package right here is from Wicked Aluminum. This is the Pi 3 holder with the heat dissipation. It's totally aluminum and it acts as a natural heat sink to not only the processor and GPU, not only the LAN card, but also the RAM on the bottom of your Pi as well. So rather than those little heat sinks, we're gonna have a case made of aluminum, which displaces heat very well around our whole entire Raspberry Pi. We're gonna go ahead and check out what our temperatures are like in that case, as well as after you see this thing, you're gonna fall in love. Wow, I don't even wanna to touch it. I don't wanna get my fingerprints on it. So first impression is it's kind of heavy. Like this is a, has a good feel to it. They piped the little um, spot, spots here for not only the power, but also the, the ACT button. And uh, they have the spot for the HDMI, your power, your auxiliary. They have a spot for your USB and your LANs. Let's open it up or let's check out this front right here. So pretty cool. Oh wow, it even has foam in there. And it, see, it's got the little spot there for the bottom of your RAM, to touch your RAM right there, at the bottom. And then uh, inside we have some grease. We have screws and an Allen wrench to screw in the screws. You have these thick pieces of aluminum to go on your LAN and your um, processor and GPU. And it even has thermal paste uh, included as well. So, what we're gonna do here is put on a little thermal paste on the pieces here. a little watery at first, so mix that around. Get the paste on there. So we have thermal paste on there now. Wow, that fits perfectly. Like look how tight that fit is. I don't even have it screwed in. It's in there perfectly. So we have the bottom on. So you have the bottom in. Again, this is a five year warranty. If anything goes wrong, just let them know they'll replace it. They say that it'll get eight degrees cooler on a normal load and up to 20 degrees cooler when you're full load. So that's pretty significant. So we have our um, our grease on there and we're just gonna put the top on. We have our thermal paste on there. We're just gonna slide the top on, align everything. Okay. So there's that side, got a little thermal paste on there. There's that side. So now let's screw this in. Look at 
Look at that. How clean is that? And on the back here, it's got uh, little holes for mounting on a wall or on a desk. Very cool. So now let's put our um, let's put our 128 gigabyte image on here. So remember that face is down. Nice, fits right in. And then uh, we have feet for it as well. So they come with little feet. Let's go ahead and put those on. Very high quality as well. These don't look cheap. I think I want to put it inside a little bit so it just doesn't poke out at all. There you go. Man, this thing is like a tank now. And look at it, with those rubber stops, it's not loud at all. Where like if you hit the metal, much louder, but very quiet. A lot of give, it almost has like shocks on it. It's like shock absorbers, okay. So we have the power, HDMI, auxiliary, we got our LAN, we got our USBs, and uh, we got the mount if you wanna wall mount it, and the uh, micro SD slot. Beautiful case. I mean, look at this thing. You cannot tell me it's not gorgeous, okay? This is winning as far as, like, look at this. You show somebody this, and then you show them this. I mean, come on. Major difference, right? So if you do wanna show off, I mean, ev there was no detail spared here. From the screws being flush mount, Allen wrench, to the engraving, to the type of metal they're using here. It's aluminum, it's, it's cold, like it's cold to the touch. So it's a natural heat sink, nat and it's naturally gonna displace a lot of the heat that the pie's gonna generate. I mean, you all out there know that the pie generates a lot of heat. And uh, the rubberized legs, I mean, it was no, it comes, everything you need, even the heat sink uh, grease. Now the one really cool thing about this is that they drilled in the lights. Most people when they build these aftermarket cases, they don't add in the power and the loading lights. And this case, they remember to do that. So let's go ahead and plug this in. There we go. You ready YouTube? Ready for this? Boom. How cool is that? Design fit. Gorgeous. So here's the video on how to add background music to Emulation Station using the same Ray's image, using the same Raspberry Pi. And as you can see, my CPU is at 114 degrees Fahrenheit and GPU is at 114 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't believe me, you can go back to this video here, hit play, and you should see the same thing. All right, here we are. We have our new case running. As you can see, will the green button go if we start moving around? Yeah, so you can go see it green. Okay, so there we are, 96 degrees. Was our CPU, GPU is down to 98. So there you have it, we were able to reduce the CPU temps down to 18 degrees and the GPU temps down 16 degrees. We'll also have the RAM cooled as well, so if we choose to overclock that, that'll also help there. I hope you liked this video. If you could, please give me a like and subscribe. If you're interested in the item, I'll put a link in the description below. And we'll see you guys next time.